people say the job market is very competitive. There's no jobs out there. There's big tech layoff. And the companies intentionally underpay the current employees and new employees. What I want to tell you is that it's all big lies. I do agree, currently the job market is very competitive because the company has raised a bar regarding who they want to select to join the company. However, whenever a company finds the number one candidate, they also pay them significant amount of money and that could be as high as millions of dollars for them to bring in the best candidate in the company. So therefore, you must learn how to become the top 1% candidate. And now specifically, to prove my point, this month we just negotiated another job offer that getting paid over half million dollars in total compensation in one of those tier one companies. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step how we negotiate the job offer that's over half million dollars in paycheck and what the strategies we use to negotiate the total compensation growth so that you're able to use the same methodology and steps to negotiate top dollar as well. Make sure to stay until the end of the video, find out how much is our total offer and what is the total salary breakdown in terms of base salary, equity, sign-on bonus, and other benefit. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product featured in Forbes. I've helped thousand people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader in this channel. We cover tech trends and free point management training. Like and subscribe, check out the video every Tuesday. This month, I just helped another student of mine negotiate a job offer that paid over half million dollars in one of those tier one companies. To protect your privacy, I have removed all the personal identifiable information and remove the company name but I can tell you all of you guys have used this company's product and it's a social media company but the goal of this video is not about who this person getting paid that much it's about the lesson learned through the entire step-by-step -step framework so that you can get paid top dollar as well right now let's assume it is a company called Meta and the social media product we use is Instagram and the student's name is Alice Step number one, let's understand Alice's background. Alice is a product manager in another tier one company and she already had five years product management experience. And before she became a product manager, she came from accounting background and actually she was a CPA and became a PM and rise up in the organization in another tier one company. However, she reached a growth plateau. In the past five years, she had been trying to work on different products within the company, trying to get promoted, but it's kind of very slow because once you're stuck in the same company, for a while, your growth no longer shooting up to the sky, it's actually slowing down. That's why she started to look around. And after she had a conversation with a recruiter at her new company, which is a social media company, she started interview process. Actually took her five rounds interview to move her to the final on-site stage. And right before her final round interview, and Alice reached out to me because she knew the final round interview is gonna do two things. Number one, if she performed very well, she's gonna land a job offer. Number two, if she did very well, it's gonna set the bar really high to push her to the next level in terms of different band was in the company. Then we start a very wild exercise. I asked Alice, what is your dream offer? How much you want to get paid? Guess what? She told me this. She want to get paid at $550 thousand dollars in total compensation. I was like, oh, this had lots of money. It's crazy. It's very big goal, actually. I was like, oh, can we do this or no? And she was like, well, that's a dream offer, but anything that's above 500, something between 500 and 550, I'm very, very happy. So we actually set a bar really, really high to negotiate this offer. And currently, Alice is only getting paid at $360,000 per year in terms of total compensation. So actually it's about $150,000 up to $200,000 more than how much she's getting paid. This is a very aggressive goal, so let's see how we did it. Immediately after her final round interview, the recruiter said, congratulations, we are going to make a job offer and let's get on the phone with you. What this means is that a recruiter is gonna get on the phone to tell you how much she's going to pay you. So that's where the offer celebration gets started. We immediately did some research regarding how much people are getting paid in this company or relevant similar type of company with this years of experience and similar type of impact. There are several key resources I highly recommend you guys to find this baseline numbers. For example, teamblind.com and Level FYI and a lot of your friends who are currently working for those companies and they can provide very accurate information. Based on the research I've done and actually for the role she's applying for is L6 
in matter. So for that level, it's roughly getting paid at $450,000 and up to $500,000. So therefore, our bar is actually higher than the, what the research told us, but we came up with a smart strategy. We decide to aim high for the first ask so that we have advantage for them to negotiate closer to our total compensation. Before we tell the recruiter how much Alice is want to get paid, and we did three strategies in the conversation. Number one, during the phone call, Alice talks about how much she loves about the company and the culture and the people she works with. Number two, how she can add value to the company starting from day one. Number three, how much other people is getting paid in the job market with similar years experience and impact based on her research. Then we made a very bold ask. We asked $520,000 in terms of our expected total compensation. What gets interesting is that you need to watch the recruiters' reactions and tone when they heard this really big number. I was like, oh, I don't know if recruiter gonna be like, damn, impossible. Well, maybe she was thinking, oh, this is challenging, but it's doable. And guess what? The recruiter's reaction on the phone is that she have a deep breath and she said, wow, that's a really big number. Let me get back to the team and see what I can do. But guess what, within two days, the recruiter came back with a very disappointing job offer. The recruiter can only give her total compensation of $410,000. That is only $50,000 higher than how much she's getting paid. And guess what, she also have big stock vesting coming up in the upcoming four months. So she leaves the company, she's losing $100,000, but only gaining $50,000 more. So definitely there's no way she's gonna join the company with such a low bar offer, but this is such a big disappointment. So we actually almost gave up on this offer because the gap is really big and it felt very, very demotivating when you hear such a big gap, $100,000 gap between what you ask and what they offer you. But we decided to give another try because you know what, nothing impossible, but I must find a new strategy failing this over $100,000 in terms of pay gap. By the way, the step one of negotiating high job offer is actually doing research about how much money people are getting paid in your level. I have a free guide regarding how much per manager getting paid in different companies, different levels, in different locations. You can go to this website and download this free guide and use it as your research to negotiate your next salary. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. Now here comes our rebuttal plan. We first break down this $410,000 offer from the recruiter and figure out which part of this offer is actually is negotiable and can be moved up. For example, the breakdown of $410,000 job offer is the following. So it is $290,000 in terms of base salary plus 25% equity, that's $72,000, and plus equity of $200,000 vested over four years, that which means each year she's getting $50,000 per year. If you add up all the numbers together, 290K plus 72K plus 50K, that equals to $412,000 per year. I have another video where I give you the in-depth breakdown regarding the six to seven figure big tech company's paycheck. You can check out this video right here and dive deeper regarding what's the detailed breakdown. With this kind of salary breakdown, we decide to push the base salary higher and also try to qualify her for a higher level, maybe higher band within the company. Currently, she's L6 and probably we can move her to L7. So there Therefore, we gave it a try. So Alice got a phone with a recruiter and started to tell her she was very disappointed at this offer because how much she's getting paid right now, 360K, and she has another 100K equity that's going to be vested in the coming four months. So therefore, she definitely is not able to accept this offer. However, she was able to build a good relationship with the recruiter, build a quiet report, and telling her that she really loves this job offer and loves the company, and she's willing to accept the offer if recruiters can help her out to create some reasonable job offer that's going to meet her expectations. She also gave three solid examples to qualify her for next level of paycheck in terms of bigger scope and more complexity of her past project and the impact she had within the organization. She also offered to connect recruiters with her reference back in the company who can vouch for her in terms of bigger impact she had made within the company. There's a pro tips. 
You should never threaten the recruiter saying that you're going to not accept the offer and walked away. Instead, you should tell the recruiter how challenging for you to accept this job offer and also bring the recruiter to your side of the table and ask her to help out. For example, Alice asked recruiter this question, hey, what are the information I should provide you so that you can help me to present the right information in front of the executive so that they can qualify me for higher paycheck or even higher band within the company. And guess what? There's another insider information. The recruiter is also getting another bonus if Alice decides to accept the job offer. So therefore, recruiter is definitely on your side. So you must build a really good rapport with the recruiter. If you like all the pro tips we share with you today, make sure to like this video so that the algorithm is going to feed you with more negotiation tips and all the BTEC job market trends. Make sure to like this video and continue. So after a long conversation with Alice, the recruiter decided to give another try. And then two days later, recruiter came back with a really good news. They were able to increase her total compensation to $500,000 in total with a base salary of $330,000 per year and plus $50,000 per year of sign-on bonus. However, this is still far behind from Alice's dream offer, which is $550,000 and the, her original ask, which is $520,000. So therefore, we did additional little push to the recruiter to say, hey, maybe you can put the total compensation to $510,000, see what you can do. But guess what? There is a big risk behind. Recruiter end up adding another round of interview saying that, you know what? You have been pushing this number really, really high and it's very challenging pushing our boundary of L6. Let me set up another interview between you and the VP of product of the company and see if you're qualified for L7. Then we start from square one. We need to do another round of interview with the VP of product. If Alice doesn't perform well, you never know. They might rescind the offer. If she did very well, of course, we're getting paid big paycheck. So after the final round interview with VP of product, we had one week of radio silence. We heard nothing from the recruiter, from the company. It was very scary. But the good news is, a week later, the recruiter came back with a new offer. The new offer had a base salary of $320,000 and a bonus of $80,000 per year. They also gave her the stock option, which is equity of the company, that's $200,000 per year over four years. So you divide by four years, you put $50,000 per year in terms of equity. They also gave her the sign-on bonus of $60,000 per year. So therefore, the total compensation became $510,000 per year. And then they also leveled her up to L7. So it literally jumped her band to the next level. So now she became the lowest level of L7, but she has a lot of room to grow her career within the L7 level within the company. So let's shoot for the sky and continue push the boundary. So you can tell this final offer actually lowered her base salary compared with the first offer they had, but put lots of weight in terms of the equity, sign-on bonus, and the annual bonus as well. So I have a question for you. Would you like this new offer that has higher total compensation, but spend more emphasis in terms of your performance within the company? Or you would rather to accept lower total compensation, but higher base salary? So comment below. I'd love to hear about your thought process. If you're someone who's also in the negotiation stage or thinking about getting a new job, it's very critical to answer this question, how much do you want to get paid? Make sure to go to this website where I share with you the best research of how much financial getting paid, what's a tax salary breakdown, so you can use it as your baseline to do your research and tell the recruiters how much you deserve to get paid in the tech industry. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. If you want to apply the same kind of techniques and strategies to get paid significantly higher than how much you're getting paid before, make sure to watch this video right here where I tell you the top six secrets how to negotiate high paying job offer even if you don't have a competing offer at all. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.